hi guys how are you all doing welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be discussing life in your 30s you know if you are below 30 i'm sure you've been hearing that once you turn 30 this will happen that will happen you, be, you become more confident you become more this you know you have this you will feel that you know a lot of people have different things they say about what happens when you turn 30 okay now, as a 30-something-year-old, I'm here to come and break it down to you guys. Let's see, is it really true what they say about life in your 30s? So, I'm sure it's going to be very, very interesting. So, let's go! Okay, so, I'm going to bring out some of your responses concerning the perks of turning 30, okay? Yeah, so the first one that Minpo talked about is wisdom and maturity okay so someone says you are wiser you are more matured you are treated like an adult you know she now puts in brackets by my parents law someone else said more sense like <laughs> more sense finish <laughs> you know another person said maturity and being responsible for people someone else said emotional intelligence and this person said there's a sense of more maturity and wanting to do better by the day and yeah i actually totally agree with this um i think once you turn 30 you know once you're in your 30s for most people they become wiser okay it's just a matter of you know you spent more time on earth you've learned from your lessons you know at that time in your life you've most likely finish university or you know you finish school i mean at least undergrad for most people um or you've been working for a while you've been interacting with the world for a while you've been kind of independence for a while i say kind of because not everyone attains independence you know when they turn 30 okay but for the most part for the majority of people by the time they're 30 they've already gained some form of independence yeah i think it's just natural because you spend more time on earth they've had all kinds of relationships so yes there's a level of maturity and wisdom that comes with you know that age i mean you're not as wise as you can be but you are wiser a lot wiser than you were in your 20s and you know in your teens and all of that okay so the next thing that happens to you in your 30s is that you are more independent okay let me read some of your responses concerning that some people said no longer having to answer to or please my parents okay that's a big thing for many people especially in this part of the world that's a very very huge thing um, it feels good taking decisions for myself without approval or validation from anyone it felt weird okay <laughs> yeah and then living in my own house yeah a lot of people in their 30s have actually moved out from their parents houses and they're living on their own they're now becoming they're not adulting okay <laughs> which is a scam by the way, but they're now adulting, they're now doing big things for themselves, they're now on their own, they're now making their own choices, you know, waking up when they want to wake up, well, not, not so much, but at least they have more control over their lives than they used to have when they were with their parents or when they were in their you know, early 20s or even you know, teenage years, okay? Yes, another group of responses that I got was what I would call self-awareness, okay? So someone says, more self-confidence assurance more disposable income uh, someone says self-awareness someone says confidence and added self-awareness my mind has grown gradually and i'm more confident about my decisions self-awareness and not giving a damn about what society expects okay yes this is so true um at that time in your life once you enter your 30s i think that because of like what i said you have had so many interactions with people in your life you've been independent you've you know met many people you've had so many relationships you become more aware about yourself you now know yourself a lot better you know what makes you tick you know um things you don't like what you like what you really not you, you can't really know yourself finish you okay don't even be deceived you can't finish knowing yourself but at least you now know yourself to a great extent okay you now understand you're now aware of the kind of person you are you're now aware of your of your personality and you know how you interact with the world and how the world views you okay so yes um and also confidence you are now more confident like i said experience okay you're now more confident in your decisions you're now more confident you know with interacting with people confident in how you present yourself to the world yeah i think that happens a lot with people in their 30s and then the last batch of responses we are concerning stability okay so someone said i feel you have become more stable job wise you keep you just keep evolving and adding to what you have okay i'll say i have been there and done it all putting yourself more together collected and living your best life okay wisdom from experiences feeling more settled and focused 
personal and professional accomplishments okay yes i totally agree with this um there's a lot more stability with you when you enter your 30s and that's because for many of us you know we've achieved financial independence we now have stable jobs a lot of us have more clarity when it comes to our career paths um a lot of us are married a lot of us have children a lot of us are living in our homes in our yeah so at that point in your life you can actually sit down and plan and project your future because you now have a a base or something to go with i don't know how to explain it but you have that stability that enables you to adequately project okay or plan your future based on the stability you have right now okay so yeah those are the perks of turning 30 um but let me just go and take some of the questions that i got on youtube and on instagram okay on my space says your simplicity is too simple which is one of the personality i like about you and this made me subscribe to your channel Dalene. thank you so much um thank you for the compliment um yeah i try to just be myself and be as simple as possible okay so this question is from marina and she says is your life now the way you envisaged it years ago if you could go back 10 years what would you do differently okay is my life now the way i envisaged it years ago yes and no okay yes in the sense that years ago i always felt and i always knew that at this time in my life i'm going to be married i'm going to have kids i'm going to be making money you know how i'll make the money i don't know i'm going to be making money i'm going to just have a happy life i'm someone who has always projected and imagined me having a very happy you know fun filled life so yes my life is how i envisaged it years ago but no in the sense that the details are a lot different if anybody had told me i'm going to be on youtube i'm going to be doing influencer work i would have said from where who me go on the internet and be talking eh, eh, it's not me okay so no my life is not the way i envisage this when it comes to the details okay but generally my life is the way i envisage it and my life is actually better than i envisage it actually better and if i could go back 10 years what would i do differently hmm so 10 years ago was when i got married okay so what would i do differently i would say i wouldn't have spent so much time trying to get pregnant um yeah i think that's the only thing if i could do things differently i think that's the only thing actually i would have yeah, I don't have spent so much time trying to get pregnant. I would have just lived my life. Let me put it that way. Do you feel any pressure to achieve certain things? Um, no, I don't feel okay. Yes, I feel pressure personally. I give myself some kind of pressure, but external pressure, no. Okay, I don't have any external pressure anywhere. Nobody, I don't I, at all. <laughs> Nobody is telling me nothing. Okay, um, and as even people, you know, pressuring me, I'm not someone who is typically pressured by social media or what i see other people achieving um yeah i've never been that kind of person that's pressured i never really felt for peer pressure you know i'm that kind of person so um i don't really feel pressure to achieve certain things okay but when it comes to me pressuring myself i actually pressure myself sometimes to achieve certain things but um somehow i try to strike a balance i try to remind myself that girl you are doing good for yourself okay you need to be you need to relax sometimes while there are other times i'm like no especially when it comes to making money i'm like no i need to make more money i need to make more money because how i see it is this eh? at this stage of my life i feel like i need to be planning for my retirement okay i need to put in as much work as i can at this stage of my life so that i can have money to retire with and so that i can retire early okay yes i have a husband who is doing well okay who has a retirement fund for us but i don't want to rely on what he has because i don't have a regular job okay so i don't really have a pension so i don't want to rely on my husband's pension for me because how our finances work okay i'm diverting but i just want to explain something how our finances work right now is that my husband basically takes care of everybody takes care of everything okay he's almost like the sole provider but i still contribute my money to make the home sweeter okay to add some spice here and there to you know yeah so i actually add my money to make the home sweeter so i want when we both retire we will not have to make any major changes okay he will still bring the money to take care of everything while i will still bring my own money at that time to make the house sweeter okay so yeah i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say that is that's the reason why i actually pressure myself more 
to really make more money and to really save and invest because I want to match his energy when we get to that part. I don't want, after, after I finish spending my money anyhow now and not making that much money, then, then I'll still rely on him So I mean, when we both can't work and he's relying on his pension to take care of the home and take care of us, I mean, so I'll not be relying on his pension to do what I need to do, no. So, I hope that makes sense. So that's the reason why I pressure myself now, even when I want to just like, just be like, you have money to make, girl, you have money to make, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so someone asks, do you feel you have figured out your purpose in life at 30 plus, or do you still feel there's some code you haven't cracked? You know, people think those who are older have got things figured out, okay? Um, have you figured out your purpose in life at 30 plus? No, I haven't, actually. I, I kind of have. I know that I am someone who is supposed to change lives with what I say, okay? I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I'm someone who people actually like to listen to. I'm just discovering that about myself, that people actually like to listen to me. People actually take my advice. People actually look up to me. So I feel like my purpose in life is to impact people through what I say, okay? So whether it is public, and funny thing is that I don't even consider myself good at public speaking. In fact, I struggle with speaking. I struggle. <laughs> you need to see my YouTube videos. If I show you guys the bloopers, you're going to be like, Madam, what's going on, okay? So it's funny that I struggle with speaking, but I do it anyway. Like, I mean, we, we move, whatever we move, you know? But I feel like I'm supposed to impact my world that way, okay? So how is supposed to how is supposed to play out? I'm not saying I'm going to be a pastor. I don't know about you know you know serving in ministry in that way, but I feel like I'm supposed to serve, you know, with spreading good news or information or you know. I don't know. See, yeah. So back to your question. I haven't figured it out. I I I still I, there's an itch that I want to scratch, but I haven't figured it out, okay? That's just how I'm going to put it. I just have that itch that I feel like I still need to scratch, but I still cannot scratch it because things are not clear, okay? <laughs> so yes, there's the code I feel like I, I, I'm yet to crack. And about people thinking that because you are older, you have figured things out. I don't think so. Like I've said, I always advise people that, see, there are 40 year olds that still don't know what they're supposed to do with their life. There are 50 year olds. It doesn't mean that it stops you from living your life, but you just know that you haven't arrived yet. So. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's not by age, Joe. Some people figure out their life by 17, 16, 18. If given an opportunity, what are the things you wish to rewrite in your life that you feel is not right in your 30s, okay? Hmm, do I answer this? I think what I wish to rewrite is being fat shamed as a child and developing a developing an unhealthy relationship with food, okay? And this is me being 100% real. Yeah, yeah, I really don't like talking about it, but it's true. I was fat shamed as a child, and because of it, not just because of it, but at the same time too, I developed as a child, I developed an unhealthy relationship with food, okay? So what I mean is this, even tonight I struggle with it, okay? It is either I am eating too much, binge eating, eating the wrong things, waking up to eat, not, not controlling myself, like just eating anyhow, it's either I'm doing that or I'm starving, okay? Eating once a day, eating next to nothing, you know? Yeah, so I, I don't have that healthy balance. I've tried, but it just takes one thing to just, you know, upset me or wanting to just, you know, dis distract, disturb, to just derail me, yeah, derail me. It just, take, it just takes one thing to derail me and I'll just either start starving or I'll start binge eating okay so yeah um i think if i had one thing i need to change it's just i didn't I, I don't like the fact that i was fat shamed and i didn't like my relationship with food i still don't like it like i tried to change it but here we are with the double chain so the next question is does the sex life really get better in your 30s how do you handle your body confidence after kids do you get anxiety about being a confirmed adult <laughs> how do you handle it okay so for sex in your 30s i feel like it actually gets better okay yes it actually gets better you know your body better you know your spouse better like if you're having sex with your spouse you know your spouse better you know your body better you know you guys just know how to you know make things work okay the problem is you're having less of it because you ain't got time you ain't got time <laughs> Most times in your 30s, you don't have the time, you don't have the energy to, you know, have as much sex as you want 
because of family, children, you know, work and stuff like that, okay? So it gets better in the sense of the feeling, but it gets worse in terms of making out time to actually do it. Yeah, I'm not confident in my body. I'm someone who I have a lot I need to change. Uh, yeah, I'm not confident in my body. However, I don't let it stop me, okay? I don't really let it stop me from... Well, somehow it stops me because I don't take as much pictures as I would like to take, even though I'm not really a picture person. So, I can't really say it's stopping me. But anyway, I, I don't have as much pictures as I would like, um, but I don't really let it stop me. Anytime I want to wear, I go where I'm, they go where they go because... I'm a fine girl. I believe, I genuinely believe that I am a fine girl, okay? So... Overall, as long as I'm a beauty overall, let's forget about the folds, forget about the chin, forget about the as far as overall I'm a beauty. Overall. <laughs> as far as I'm best overall or overall best in beauty, I don't I can't I can't be bothered. <laughs> So the next one is, do you get anxiety about being a confirmed adult? No, actually I don't. You know what, let me just go and read, you know, the disadvantages or the struggles of being in your 30s, okay? So some of the, you know, responses that I got were about not fitting in, about growing older and not fitting in, okay? So the first one is, it feels more like the stage when you are neither a youth nor an adult to, like, in between life, okay? Yeah, when you're in your 30s, you can't say you're an old person, you're not old, but you're not young, you're not a child, you're not a youngin, you're not a youth, you're still a youth anyway, but you're not a young game, you know, you're not old, but you're not young, it's just a weird stage. Um, another person says, accepting I'm getting older and I'm leaving the bracket of youth, although I am, I am and I feel very useful, okay, um, yeah, so the next one is, I've been paranoid, Sha, just broke off my three years relationship after i turned 30. so i added this one because it's part of just not quite figuring things out it's just like you are here you're not you're neither here nor there okay but the truth is for me personally i don't have a problem with feeling old i don't have any anxiety towards my age i'm someone who has always been very open with my age like it doesn't i don't want to explain it it doesn't i don't feel some type of way being in my 30s okay and i think part of the reason why this is so is that i was quite precautious as a child i've never been or acted like my my age okay i've always acted you know older i've always vibed more with people who are older you know i've always liked guys who are older i've always been seen as older i've always been acting more mature than my age so now that in my 30s i now feel like my age and my my physical age and my mental age now match okay that's how i feel right now i feel like i've been in my 30s even before i entered my 30s i feel like i feel like when i was 17 i was already in my 30s okay so now my physical age and my mental age are now matching and to be honest i feel like even physically people now guess my age more correctly than years ago before at 19, at 17, people are like, you are 28, she's 30. She, I'm just like, you know the sea road, okay? So now that I'm in my 30s, when I ask people, how old do you think I am? People actually guess my correct age, or they even guess, sometimes they even guess younger, which wasn't so for the longest time, okay? So I don't really have any anxieties about growing older. I'm actually excited that I'm older. I actually like my life, but I understand where this person is coming from, where she said, um, you know that bracket you're not you're not really old you're not really young you know even though you are youthful you can't call your there are things you can't do because you're not you'll be not picking again okay respect your age you know so yeah i understand those struggles so the next real struggle and i think is one that me i struggle with the most is physiological changes okay so let's read your responses someone said body fat hard to lose especially around my belly after having four c sections okay someone says shifting excess weight feels like it was so much easier in my 20s yeah you know pre-babies next i'm trying to conceive my first is turning 11 years worried somehow because i'm 36 and i'm wishing for two more and the next person says physiological changes okay yes um, i totally agree with this okay uh, especially for the person who is um, struggling with you know that wants more kids you have been told, you know, by science, by biology, that, you know, once you enter your 30s, there's a, you know, huge decline in fertility. As you're getting into your late 30s, there's a huge decline in fertility. Uh, if, you're your, if you're in your late 30s or if you're above 35 and you've tried for one year and you don't have a child, no, if you try for six months, actually, and you don't, you've not, you know, conceived, you should go and see your doctor. You know, people are telling you to freeze your eggs. People are telling you to make sure you get pregnant immediately. People are giving you all sorts of advice. 
and you're just like what am I gonna do with all of this, <laughs> okay? So yeah, people actually struggle with physiological changes once they turn 30, okay? I read somewhere that once you turn 30 as a woman, your metabolism rate reduces or something like that. I don't know how true it is, but that once you turn 30, um, like physically, it gets more difficult to lose weight, okay? In your 20s, you know, you, you can just eat anyhow and you'll not gain that much weight and you can just walk out, you know, in two days, you have lost 10 kg, ah, you feeling yourself. But you know, once you enter your 30s, it becomes more difficult for you to lose weight, you start gaining weight at a higher rate, um, hormones and stuff like that. So a lot of us in our 30s actually struggle with our weight. This is so true body image as well it's funny how in your teenage years you struggle with your body body image in your 20s not so much then you enter your 30s again and you start struggling with your body image again i'm just like what's going on okay that is why a lot of women in their 30s are actually going for plastic surgery okay and i don't blame them because before your body your tummy was flat or flat ish now you've had two kids and your tummy is hanging over your your vjj you know it's, it's, it's actually annoying for some of us you had perky boobs before you can even go braless or you can just wear anything and just be going you can even wear bra top and you'll be fine but now in your 30s you need heavy duty bras with straps that tick like this you know with with wire here and you know i'm just like your boobs are already facing the ground some of you your boobs are hanging on your tummy <laughs> people are like us <laughs> so that's why i don't blame women who in their 30s are going for you know mommy makeovers and you know surgery or plastic surgery and stuff like that and bbls i don't really blame them because sometimes it's hard to deal with when you see your body change so much so i think that's one of the biggest struggles that many people in their 30s struggle with physiologically things just go sideways and you have to start trying to keep up with your diet trying to keep up with your exercises you can't you can't now eat anything you want and just be going for most of us okay some people are blessed that it doesn't affect them but for most of us you can't just eat anyhow anymore you have to be very watchful and very mindful of what you eat and how you eat and stuff like that okay so the next one is financial burden okay someone says um acquisition of assets and investments are part of the struggles of you know being 30 another person says learning to save money and spoiling myself after laboring at work okay so i actually relate with these two like i said before about you know planning my pension you know at this age it is so true you know when you're in your 20s sometimes you don't really think about these things that much especially for most of us who were already married in our 20s at that time they're really focused on you know i want kids i want to raise my kids i want to give birth i want to have four kids i want to have five kids that's what you are really bothered with but once you have your kids and you're in your 30s even before you have your kids or even if you're not married once you're in your 30s you know you start looking at your future like i said about stability you now start trying to project your future and yeah you now get some kind of anxiety about your finances and how your finances are looking so you now see yourself you know trying to acqu acquire you know more properties try to invest more trying to save trying to do all that okay sometimes even neglecting yourself you won't really want to enjoy your money because you're like i'm saving i'm saving i'm saving okay so i really relate with this but yeah you have to do what you have to do now the next one is performance pressure i think this one's the biggest one for most people okay someone says not being where i hope to be do i fall into this category self i'll be 40 next year my dear you fall into this category i first you're not 40 yet you fall into this category okay yeah i understand this one a lot of people in their 30s don't actually have their lives figured out okay and in your 30s it's almost like everybody's now pressuring you that ah you're no more a child though, you're no more like what we said about, you know, you're not being a child anymore. In your 30s, most of us are not living with our parents anymore. And even if you're living with your parents, people are like, uh uh, why are you still with your parents? Go and marry, go and do this one, go and have kids, go your kids, go and get a job. Go and... Like at that point, the pressure is real, okay? Um, someone says, um, how life goes busier. Yes, life actually gets so much busier once you turn 30 so much busier because you're trying to make money you're trying to form relationships you're trying to maintain relationships you're trying to take care of your children you're trying to you know get children you're trying to get married you're trying to take care of your husband like there's always it's no longer just focus on you know you know passing school that's when i see some young people now that in university or even before they time just like you don't know what god is you don't know what you're enjoying you don't know what god is doing in your life right now you better calm down okay they won't understand it once you enter your 30s and the struggle becomes real you will understand you will find out <laughs> 
So another person says, still not being where I feel I ought to be in life in the midst of feeling like I'm too old. Um, someone says being single. Someone says balancing wifey duties, motherhood and personal desires. Someone says dealing with so many responsibilities and family commitments can be exhausting. Someone says performance pressure. Folks expect certain things to be in place at this age, okay? Yes, I totally agree with all of you. Once you turn 30, it becomes like... You need to perform, you need to show, you need to show working, okay? You need to show working. Like, we've taken you through school, we've paid your school fees, you know, we've taken care of you, we've, you know, you're now an adult, you're now supposed to, you know, do this and do that. In the village, you're supposed to do that one as the, as the first daughter of the house, as the second daughter of the house, as an auntie, as an uncle, as a friend, as a mom, as a, like, at that point, there's so many things that are now struggling for your attention, for your time, for your resources. It's a lot, okay? Okay, let me just take more questions again. Someone is asking, is there something you wish you did in your 20s? Um, yes, I wish I had started YouTube in my 20s because I feel like there are a lot of things I did in my 20s that I would love to look back on, look at footage of, okay? I wish when I was getting married, I had been on YouTube, okay? I wish when I was having my first and second daughter, I had been on YouTube. I wish that I, I had, when I was working, I had been on YouTube just to document the my 20s okay do you at any point feel so old and miss being in your 20s no i don't i don't at all at all why i don't i don't miss it what what was that I, I don't want to beg um how do you how does it feel knowing you're approaching 80 look at this one <laughs> how do you view your life now that you are more matured i see things a bit more differently at 35. i think now in my 30s i think one thing that i have learned is number one patience and then two not really caring what other people think so i don't feel the need to prove myself or to argue too much with other people okay because i don't really care what you think so once i state my own facts like i'm about to change my mind so i'm about to argue with you back and forth because i'm about to change my mind you know so i just let people talk and let them say what they want to say and i'm just like okay i don't really argue much with people again like hey if you had known me in my 20s some of you like to leave comments in my comment section i just used to laugh i used to laugh if you had known me in my 20s, we will we, 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 we go dig down back and forth, back and forth. We'll do it for three days straight. Like you go tired, okay? And most times people used to get tired and start insulting me, and I'm just like, <laughs> I've won. Because once you add insult, it means that the team pains you. You feel them, it pain them. <laughs> you know, so but now that my 30s, I've actually calmed down. I'm just like, I'll just if I need to state my peace, I state my peace and I let it go. And I just allow you to continue ranting with yourself there. If you want to insult, I used to be, you know. So I think that's one thing that has really changed. Like, I just see things differently now. I'm just like, there's really no point to prove. So I'm good. Um, someone's asking, how old are you? I'm actually 32. I'll be 33 in August, okay? Yeah. Okay, I like this question. Someone is saying, how has your sense of fun and adventures changed? Do you feel boring? No, I don't. I, and actually, my sense of fun and adventures hasn't really changed. Like I said, I was very precocious. I was an old soul. What people refer to as an old soul. So, when I was younger, what used to shock people? What used to... What young people used to love and like to do? I wasn't really moved by it. It didn't really bother me. I didn't really... I wasn't... I, I couldn't care. I couldn't care. I mean, I couldn't care less for what people were doing with their lives at that time. I was living more like how I'm living right now. So, my... What I consider fun and what I consider adventure hasn't really changed. So that now my kids are usually mostly included in what I consider fun and adventure. My kids somehow have to be part of it. But yeah, it hasn't really changed. How has your friend group changed and how you relate to friends change, okay? My friend's group, has it really changed? Yes, um, a little bit. It changed a bit. Um, I think... I, okay, my friend group didn't really change much from when I was in my 20s, when I was in my 30s, okay? I think what happened is we changed as people not really changed but we now have children we now most of us are married most of us are doing very well in our careers and our jobs are now busy people you know we now have more mature conversations talk about more serious issues so i didn't really change i didn't really um, like discard friends or make new friends i still have almost the same number of friends i had in my 20s but all of us grew and evolved let me put it that way okay have you created bucket list goals for yourself since hitting 30s no no i don't really have bucket list though i do what i have to do i do what i want to do i don't really have a bucket list except that i must go to club okay part of the reason why i want to go to club is that i want so that when i'm advising my kids not to go i will have what to say okay <laughs>
Thomas says, what's the youngest friend you would have now that you're 30? A 25 year old friendable? Of course! I don't really choose my friends based on their age. I have never chosen my friends based on their age. Like, I'm not thought about their age when I'm choosing friends. I just look at you. Are you a good person? Do you have a good personality? Are you someone I vibe with? Are you someone I'm, that is good? Are you someone that, you know, I can relate with? That's all. I don't really care about your age. Do you think about what people feel about you? Or you just do you? Yes, I'm going to say yes and no, okay? I actually think about what people feel about me, okay? I actually think about it. Now, does it inform how I behave? Not really. But I actually think about how people perceive me, what people think about me, what people say about me. And for me, it's actually a good thing for you to think about what other people think about you. I'm not saying you must do what people want you to do, but it's actually a good thing because there's this idea that people have that you can just do anything you want and as long as it makes you happy, you can do anything you want. No, sometimes you might actually be a bad person, okay? And you don't want to listen to what people are saying, but you're actually a bad person. So yeah, sometimes I feel like you should actually take some time to look at what people say about you, how people feel about you, the kind of impression you leave on people, the kind of things people, you know, point out about you, you know, often. Think about it, consider it, and then make informed decisions about it, okay? I feel like on a daily, we should all strive to be better people. So, I'm not part of that idea that you should just block out the whole world and do whatever you want to do because you might be a mad person and you don't know. <laughs> it's only a mad person that blocks out the whole world and doesn't doesn't care what other people think. Like, you should care to some extent, but how much of what people think about you informs your, your decisions and your actions, that's, you know, what matters, okay? Anyway, um, this video is going to be very, very long, but yeah, I think I've answered all your questions about life in your 30s. Um, yeah, so is there any advice I'll give anybody that's in their 20s or in their teens? I'll say enjoy the process. I'll say um, stop looking at people that are in their 30s and feel like they're old because <laughs> it will shock you. You're going to reach there very soon, okay? You're going to reach there sooner than you think. <laughs> So don't look at people like that and feel like, ah, she's so old, what's she saying? No, like, there, there's really no much difference between 20 and 30, trust me, I know, okay? Um, yeah, but enjoy the process, and like I said, even if you are in your 30s and you haven't gotten your life quite figured out, don't panic, don't fret, don't be disappointed, don't be depressed about it, because all these time frames we're giving ourselves, it's society, you. it is society. In one day, it's like 1,000 years in God's eyes, Abi. No, God's one day is like a thousand years to us. So you are feeling like ah, I'm already 30, time is going. No, to God, you are still starting. You never even reach anywhere, okay? He can change things for you in a twinkle of an eye. Uh, twinkle, twinkle of an eye? Twinkle of an eye? Battle of an eyelid? In a flip of a finger? <laughs> Anyway, things can change for you before you know it, okay? So just relax, enjoy the process, do what you have to do, um, be a good person, work hard, work hard, you know, work smart, work hard. I see, hard work, all join. Work hard, work smart, all join, but just do work, okay? And hope for the best, okay? And thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. <sighs> And I'll see you all in my next video, okay? <laughs> Bye!